Imagine a powerful force that can form entire galaxies, yet remain hidden from view. The phenomenon of light trying to escape and time itself warping this is the reality of a supermassive black hole lurking at the centers of countless galaxies, including ours. But the story doesn't end there. Recent discoveries have confirmed that these cosmic giants are not just passive consumers of matter, they influence the very structure of the universe. Driving the formation of stars, shaping the evolution of galaxies, and even playing a crucial role in the creation of planets, like Earth. Today, we delve into the hidden mechanisms behind these forces and explore the revolutionary changes that are finally making these secrets known. What we discover could change our view of the universe forever. So first, let's make sure we're on the same page and discuss a bit of theory. Let's start with quasars, which serve as the energetic hearts of active galaxies in the universe. These luminous beacons, powered by supermassive black holes that absorb vast amounts of matter, outshine the collective light of all the stars in their host galaxies. In our case, however, a particular subset of quasars, known as red quasars, has attracted the special attention of astronomers. Unlike their blur counterparts, red quasars are shrouded in cosmic dust, which plays a key role in their unique characteristics. The redness observed in these quasars is a direct effect of the dust that surrounds them. The dust absorbs shorter blue wavelengths of light and lets in longer red wavelengths. This phenomenon not only changes their appearance, but also enhances radio emissions. As shown by recent studies using data from the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument DESI and LOFAR, which is a low-frequency array, a study by Victoria Fawcett and her team at Newcastle University has found that red quasars emit stronger radio signals than their dust-free blue counterparts. Intense streams of radiation emanating from the quasar collide with surrounding dust, exciting the molecules inside and causing them to emit radio waves. This interaction is key to understanding why red quasars are more radio loud. But why are these red quasars so important? The answer lies in their age and stage of evolution. Red quasars are thought to represent a younger phase of the life cycle of active galaxies. The dust enveloping them is not just an obstacle, it's a remnant of the galaxy's past. Probably formed during a starburst event, a period of intense star formation caused by galaxy mergers or other dramatic interactions. As the supermassive black hole continues to feed, its streams gradually blow away this dusty veil, revealing in its place a blue quasar with a much fainter radio emission. This blowout phase refers to the evolution of a quasar from a dusty, radio loud formation to a cleaner, bluer quasar with muted radioactivity. Observing red quasars gives astronomers a glimpse into the early stages of this transformation and provides valuable insights into the mechanisms that govern the evolution of galaxies. The discovery of thousands of red quasars by the Fawcett team underscores their importance in the cosmic landscape. These objects are not just rare anomalies, but crucial pieces of the puzzle in understanding how galaxies evolve. Galaxies and the activity of quasars play a central role in this dynamic process. Now that we understand the basics, we can easily continue our journey and delve deeper into the concept of the explosion phase and its impact on the evolution of galaxies. The explosion phase theory provides a deeper look into the life cycle of red quasars at the centers of young, active galaxies. It is believed that this phase represents a critical period in evolution when the supermassive black hole at the core begins to clear away the dense clouds of gas and dust that obscure it, transforming the galaxy from a red quasar to a blue one. This theory is based on the enormous force generated by a supermassive black hole that feeds on the material of its accretion disk. Intense gravitational forces within this disk create friction, heating the gas and dust to millions of degrees. This process not only illuminates the quasar, but also results in releases that eventually lead to the explosion phase. These streams, consisting of high-speed winds and magnetically collimated jets, act like space brooms, sweeping away surrounding dust and gas. Colliding with matter, these jets generate shockwaves that further accelerate the cleaning process. Over time, 
This cleaning reveals the quasar interior, reducing the dust content and allowing the quasar to shine more brightly in the optical and ultraviolet wavelengths of stage we've already discussed and designated as the blue quasar. This theory is supported by observations made with space telescopes. The infrared capabilities of JUST allow astronomers to penetrate through the dust and obtain detailed images and data, revealing the dynamics of this explosive phase. In particular, these observations reveal the interaction between the quasar jets and the surrounding matter, which is consistent with the process of expelling dust and gas from the galactic nucleus. These findings are in good agreement with the predictions of the explosion phase theory and convincingly prove that red quasars are indeed in a transition state. Well, Al, as an example, let's go to the news itself not once. And here it is again. The James Webb Telescope has once again opened a new chapter in our understanding of the cosmos. Among its many discoveries, the case of the galaxy ESO 428G14 stands out. Located about 70 million light years away, it is an active galactic nucleus agnon, a region where the supermassive black hole at its center has a profound effect on the surrounding space. ESO 428G14 is not just any galaxy. Its AG is a source of intense radiation spanning the entire electromagnetic spectrum, thanks to a supermassive black hole devouring matter at an extraordinary rate. This phenomenon generates enormous energy, making AG one of the most luminous objects in the universe. But what has captivated astronomers is the recent discovery of shock features and the swirling clouds of dust and gas surrounding this black hole, an unexpected twist that's challenging our understanding. Understanding how these cosmic giants interact with their surroundings has long been a mystery. The prevailing theory assumed that the energy heating the surrounding dust in the Agnon came directly from the supermassive black hole itself. However, JUST observations revealed something much more intriguing. The energy that heats the dust comes not only from the black hole's intense radiation, but also from violent interactions with jets of gas ejected at near light speed from the black hole's poles. These jets collide with the surrounding matter, creating what astronomers now call shocks. These impactors have been a revelation. Previously, scientists had argued about how AG transfer energy to their surroundings. The discovery that radio jets can do so much damage to nearby dust and gas was unexpected. This finding challenges long-standing assumptions and opens new questions about the dynamics of supermassive black holes. The implications of these discoveries are profound. By detecting the interaction between radio jets and the surrounding matter, JUST has provided a clearer picture of how supermassive black holes affect not only their immediate surroundings, but the entire galaxy. These jets, previously thought to be mere byproducts of black hole activity, now seem to play a crucial role in shaping their surroundings, affecting the star formation rate and the overall structure of the galaxy. Thus, this phase is a crucial element in the complex interaction between supermassive black holes and their host galaxies. To better understand the impact of active galactic nuclei on the surrounding space, let's study the feedback mechanisms that govern the interaction between supermassive black holes and their cosmic neighbors. It has long been known that at the center of many galaxies lies a supermassive black hole surrounded by a dynamic and turbulent environment known as an active galactic nucleus AG. The AG is a region of intense radiation and powerful energy flows driven by an accretion disk, a swirling, chaotic structure of gas and dust that feeds the black hole. This disk, heated to millions of degrees under the action of enormous gravitational forces, emits radiation across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, from X-rays to radio waves. The accretion disk is not a homogeneous structure, it has distinct regions that behave differently depending on their proximity to the black hole. In the inner regions, matter swirls inward at incredible speeds, generating enormous amounts of heat and emitting high-energy radiation. However, recent observations have provided new insights into the outer edges of these disks. For the first time, astronomers have observed the outer edge of an accretion disk, providing a clearer picture of its size and structure. Using the James Webb Space Telescope and the Gemini Near-Infrared Spectrograph, 
Researchers have detected emission lines in the near-infrared spectrum from the distant quasar 3Z2. These lines, extended by the Doppler effect, show the size of the accretion disk, confirming its vastness and the turbulent conditions within it. The study suggests that these emission lines occur when atoms in the disk absorb energy and go into an excited state, eventually returning to a lower energy state and emitting light. The unique double peak profile of these lines, caused by the the rotation of the disk allowed astronomers to measure the size of the disk and gain insight into the behavior of matter under the influence of a supermassive black hole. But the accretion disk is not the only actor in the ag theater. From the poles of the accretion disk fly out radio jet streams of charged particles accelerated to near light speed by the black hole's magnetic fields. These jets are not just byproducts, they are powerful forces shaping the environment around the ag. Colliding with the surrounding dust and gas, they create the very shock waves that can affect the evolution of the entire galaxy. The interaction of these jets with the interstellar medium can trigger star formation in some regions and suppress it in others. This feedback mechanism, known as ag feedback, plays a critical role in regulating galaxy growth. By enriching the surrounding gas with heavy elements or blowing it out, these jets can dictate the rate of galaxy growth effectively controlling the balance between star birth and star death. In addition to jets, black holes exert their influence through tidal disruption events, or TEDs. When a star gets too close to a black hole, it is torn apart by its gravitational forces. This process, often called spaghettification, causes the star to stretch out and shred, with some of the material falling into the black hole and the rest being ejected into space. Recent research has confirmed that not all stellar material is absorbed by the black hole. Instead, much of it FLIs away, forming a huge spherical cloud of gas that can obscure high-energy radiation such as X-rays. This cloud, detected thanks to polarized light, provides a glimpse into the consequences of a TED when a black hole's appetite leaves a visible mark on its surroundings. But this dust is not just small particles floating in a vacuum. It plays an important role in shaping our understanding of the universe and contains key information about the processes that govern the cosmos. Cosmic dust, often thought of as simple space debris, plays an important role in the complex processes of the universe. Cosmic dust is formed mainly from the remnants of stars and consists of tiny, micronized particles comparable in scale to the width of a human hair and composed of elements like carbon, silicon, and metals. These particles are produced not only by the phenomena discussed earlier, but also by various stellar events like supernova explosions. When dying stars eject their outer layers into space, or by the gentle shredding of matter by red giants late in their lives, the formation of cosmic dust is evidence of the life cycles of stars. In the case of supernova, the intense explosion scatters heavy elements throughout space, which eventually cool and condense into dust grains. Similarly, red giants, as they expand and lose their outer layers, contribute to cosmic dust by slowly ejecting material into the interstellar medium. This dust can subsequently be incorporated into new stars, planets, and even life, making it a cosmic dust is a critical component of cosmic recycling. But cosmic dust is not just a byproduct of stellar evolution, it has a profound effect on our observations of the universe. One of the most serious problems created by dust is its ability to obscure our view of celestial objects. Dust particles can scatter and absorb light, especially in the visible spectrum, which makes it difficult to see through dense clouds in areas such as the centers of galaxies or around active galactic nuclei. Such obscuration is particularly problematic when studying black holes and quasars, where the presence of dust can hide the most interesting features. However, as we already mentioned, JUST, with its advanced infrared capability, allows us to penetrate through that visible range of the spectrum. By observing in the infrared, JUST can detect heat emitted by the dust particles themselves, as well as light from objects hidden behind or within the cloud. As we continue to unlock the mysteries of space, the future is even more promising. With the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, 
set to launch in 2027, we will gain an even broader perspective. This telescope will complement JUST by offering a wider panoramic view of the universe, capturing infrared images 200 times larger than Hubble, but with the same level of detail. Roman's wide field of view will allow it to collect an unprecedented amount of data, providing insights into billions of galaxies and helping to create a 3D model of the universe. This telescope will not only expand our understanding of cosmic dust and its role in the formation of galaxies, but also possibly answer some of the biggest questions in astrophysics, such as the nature of dark energy and the structure of the universe.